Oh man, so we're green day for Phantom. Up 1.7%, back at 27 cents. Bitcoin having a flat Sunday here, but we are running into some resistance. There is a little bit of danger ahead for Phantom. We're going to look at the key levels in the charts. We've got a big week coming up this week with Fed Chairman Jerome Powell speaking, as well as many other Fed officials. So we're going to break down the key levels. We're going to look at the Bitcoin chart as well and get ourselves set up for a big week coming up. Hope you guys are enjoying join your Sunday. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Let's get straight into the chart here. And as you can see, Phantom is sitting here up 1.8% now at the time of recording this video. And you can see we're heading to the top of this falling, falling, ascending, uh, increasing wedge, right? It's, it's expanding as we fall here to the downside. And what we want to keep an eye on is can we build our way some support to the top side? Remember, the next level of support here for Phantom is not until we reclaim 30 cents back up here. More likely, however, which is what I'm warning about in this video, is are we going to get rejected from this teal colored line here to the top side? We've been rejected a good few times, one time here, two times here, three, then we broke through, came straight back down, four, five, six times on this trend line, guys. It's a really solid trend line. And I will be worried that we could get rejected again from this 27 and a half cent line where my cursor is right now. So I will be looking out for that move. Now to further back that claim up, look at the EMA ribbon, guys, on the four hourly chart. That EMA ribbon is acting like supreme pressure to the downside. That's part of the reason we're getting sent so far to the downside. And you can see how many times we've got rejected well into our EMA ribbon. So I want to keep an eye on this to see, are we able to get some momentum to the upside and flip our EMA ribbon? Or are we more likely to be sent back to the downside, in which case we need to look out for some more support? If you see the bottom of the... Uh, our low here where we bounced here was at 26 cents here. So we need to keep an eye out for that level here. But also your next major level of horizontal support comes in at 24 cents. So that's what I'm looking out for here on Phantom. To visualize this in a different way, let's remove the EMA ribbon for a second. And you can see we're also in this channel to the downside as well. So if you want to take it as this channel, you can see here that we've had a few uptrends break to the downside. Uptrends, then typically we would have fought to break to the downside, but you're seeing some good consolidation around this area. Now, the reason we're getting good consolidation around this trend line here will link back to Bitcoin. And that is because Bitcoin's holding up really well at its corresponding level, which I'm going to walk you through right now. And always also, guys, please don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe. It really does help this channel out. And if you appreciate these up to date, ti uh, timely videos, even here on a Sunday, make sure you let me know in the comments below if you appreciate that. So as you can see on Bitcoin, what we've got here is we're in this symmetrical triangle. But we've seen some remarkable strength here. It looked like we were about to break to the downside. If we take a look here on this chart, it looked like we were going to break to the downside, right? We've got a big candlestick here, then another bullish engulfing candle here to throw us back to the upside here on the four hourly. Now, do I think this is going to sustain? No, I think it's a short term relief, right? If I bring out the EMA ribbon, you can see you've got some room here to run into your four hourly EMA ribbon. So I won't be surprised if we get back above 20 for a little bit, but I'm still expecting the next impulse wave down to the downside. And you guys know I'm, I'm, I'm giving the, uh, the bias to the bears right now who are clearly in control of this trend. When you weigh up the macroeconomics as well, I can't think of the, the positive narrative this week that can come out for this. You've got Fed Chairman Jerome Powell who's speaking later this week, as well as a bunch of other Fed officials such as Brainard and Mester. I don't know why the Fed officials always want to talk, but they never say anything good. And we know that they right now, the remit is to be really hawkish. Jerome Powell made that clear. We really don't need him to talk anymore again. And I think this could be a big burden on us this week to the down side. So personally, my game plan is going to be looking for some downside and waiting for any price points to ladder in some more purchases for me personally here on Bitcoin. Now, if we get a relief rally, that's perfectly fine. If we see a little rally into our EMA ribbon, I'm not going to FOMO in. I'm not going to, that's not going to mean anything to me. The time when we'll start meaning something is if I get a, we, if I get a four hourly close above our EMA ribbon. Okay. Now that would need to be, if I bring out my cursor, that would need to be a close around 20,300 on a four hourly candle. Then we can expect a bit more of a bigger move up towards the top of our channel, which will get you to 22,000, that green line there at the top. Okay. So those are the key levels I'm looking out for right now clear big downward trend. We consolidated, look last time, when we consolidated, big dump to the downside. We've consolidated for a while here now at 20,000. And that's getting me a little bit nervous that we could be getting a dump to the downside. If I bring out the VPVR, you can see here, this is a very important point we're at now. We're just below our point of control, highly traded area here with these two big bars. Once you clear below the level 19,800, 
things can move to the downside far quicker, okay? You've got a lot of resistance overhead. There's a big resistance area up towards 22,000. So I'm expecting a move to the downside here uh, more likely than a move to the upside, okay? Now, if I remove that, and I also bring out the Bollinger Band. Let's take a look at the Bollinger Band. Now, there's a few things I want to show you here on the Bollinger Band. So you can see here we're sitting on the four hourly chart. And on the four hourly chart, where that big green candle came in, came in because we got some support from the bottom of the Bollinger Band. But don't forget, the middle of the Bollinger Band can act as resistance as well, okay? The middle of the Bollinger Band can act as resistance. If you don't know how Bollinger Band works, take this opportunity to check my link in the description. I made my whole TA course for free, guys. It's 10 years of training, professional, traditional finance, uh, technical analysis. Go and watch my course. It's made specifically for crypto. I go through Bollinger Bands. I go through EMA ribbons. I go through head and shoulders patterns, ascending triangles, descending triangles, the lot. How to analyze bearish engulfing patterns, bullish engulfing patterns. It's all there in one compact way for free. Go check it out, guys. Be silly not to. Now, that's what I'm looking out for is are we going to get some resistance from the middle here on the four hourly? If I zoom in a little bit more to get a clue, let's take a look at the hourly and look what you can see. We're running into the top of our Bollinger Band and literally as we speak, as predicted, you're getting rejected on your hourly and do not be surprised if you get a move back down to that 19,600 level. So that's what I'm working out for here on the hourly. If you zoom out on the four hourly, at some point I'm expecting some more resistance to come in. It's just how much are we going to bounce up before we fall back down. Now, if we take a look at the weekly, because we're getting our weekly candle closed today, let's tidy this up a little bit for you guys. Uh, let's get a cleaner chart here on the weekly. And this will do. Let's take a look at this weekly candle here. And what I want to show you guys is look at this candle. We opened up this candle at 19,570. We're currently at 19,800. In other words, we're about $250 away from having another red candlestick. So this is an important close, which we've got about, uh, we've, how many hours have we got? We've got 10 hours left before this close in the weekly candle. And that's going to be an important one. Can we hold it green? At least that would stop the bleeding this week. At least it would have been a neutral week, despite what we had going on. Can we see now that we can build from this and this following week, can we have a green week, right? Can we have a nice strong green week? Green week? Because when you bring up the 200 week moving average, look at the resistance that's being caused here. This is what's worrying. When you look at this, it's starting to act like resistance. And that is not great for another push to the downside. So to summarize, guys, I'm getting expect I'm getting ready for a little bit more pain here. Uh, and look, if I'm wrong, and we get a relief rally. I'm cool with that. I'm in the market. Like I said, 85% of my crypto is of my available funds is in crypto. I've got a little bit on the sidelines, which I've set as limit orders to get me some more at some low price points. If we see some green candles, I'm not chasing them. I'm good. I'm in the market. If we see low price points, I'll take that opportunity to add some more. Hope that makes sense. Hope you guys appreciate this video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see any updates on any other cryptos. Go watch this video here and I'll see you in the next one.